Hi, it's Wesley with 22 Zines, and welcome to a very special episode called Free Zine Friday, where me and my buddy Susie here, we're going to be showing off places that you can download and read zines for free. And I'm doing this because one of my main missions, I guess you'd say, is about accessibility, and especially accessibility of information. And cost is a really huge barrier of access that is unfortunately prevalent, even in the zine community, which is a community that has never really been about profit. So what this is going to be, basically, is just a roundup of a bunch of different distros or websites or any place that you can just download and read zines for free. Some of them you'll be able to print on your own. I mean, all of them you can print if you want to, but some of them I'll, will be ready for printing. Uh, the, those, if you don't know the lingo, it's called imposed when the pages are arranged in such a way that it's ready for print. Uh, and some of them will be screen ready, which means that they'll be organized in a way that you can just read them on the screen. But either way, they're all going to be free. They're all going to be great. And I hope this encourages you to download and read a couple zines and find some that you like. This first episode, I guess, is going to be about activism and protest and social justice zines and basically it's just because I happen to have all of these handy because I was creating a list for an upcoming zine library at the Watertown Free Public Library. If you're in Massachusetts you should totally check it out when it's ready at the end of the summer. There are definitely a lot of free zines in this category and that is for a few reasons. One, because usually the creators of this, uh, of activism, anarchy, social justice information, care the most about just getting the information out there and um, very little about making cost prohibitive. They want it to be able to be freely shared and printed out so that it can be of use to people who are actually out there activizing. <laughs> it also makes it easier for creators to stay anonymous. A lot of the creators of these zines are going to be anonymous strictly out of safety reasons um, because when you're publishing a lot of radical information then obviously that can be very dangerous to you. Um, so I really want to thank all of the people who have ever made activism zines and contributed them to these distros for all of us to be able to read freely, especially when it may be done at personal risk. I just think um, I really want to I really want to honor that information. So I have a big list of notes here, and I'm going to show off a few distros. This is not going to be a comprehensive list by any means, but just a place to get started of a few distros that you can download and read these zines for free. And I'll highlight a few zines that I've read from each one that I think are especially awesome and you should totally start there if you are overwhelmed with it. So we'll just get going. The first distro organization that I want to show off is called Crime Think, and that's TH lowercase and INC like incorporated. Crime Think, and they are a collective action network that has a lot of articles, a lot of books, and a lot of resources on social justice, on activism, and um, just leftist media up on their website all the time. Uh, one reason that I wanted to start with this and that this is a really awesome zine uh, distro to begin with is that they are frequently updating their very up-to-date. They write a lot of their own zines and they update with uh, collections of new activism zines that they've found over time and it's really a great place to find new zines happening all the time. They have a zine library under their tools section and also under their tools section they have things like flyers, they have things like stickers and things that you can download and print out yourself to share within your own activist spaces which is or you know publicly, <laughs> which is really awesome. They also often have zines in languages other than English, which I really appreciate. And all of the other languages that they have available for each zine is going to be listed right there next to the zine. So it's very easy to find and access. The first zine that I really want to highlight from Crime Think is called Doc's Care. Notes on Prevention and Aftercare for Those Targeted by Doxing or Political Harassment. This is a zine that has a lot of great information about 
what data you're actually sharing, how to protect your privacy, how to protect the privacy of those you love, and generally how to be safe online. And it's especially geared towards activists, but it's useful, you know, even if you just care about social justice. It's something that even if you haven't thought about before, um, it's really good to be aware of exactly what you're putting online. That doesn't mean that you can't share certain things. I mean, I guess I, I'm relatively open online in the sense that I'm using my full name and everything. Um, but it's just always a good reminder to know exactly what you're putting online and exactly what information people can find out about you. This has a lot of information on that. I really recommend it. The next thing that I want to share is titled Seven Myths About the Police. And that is exactly what it sounds like. It's a very excellent scene. And I wanted to highlight this one in particular because it is available in a few other languages. It is available in German, Spanish, Italian, Portuguese, Russian, and English. So you should definitely check that one out. The next scene resource that I want to show off is the Boston Anarchist Black Cross. And this is a local to me <laughs> uh, organization of uh, a support group for activists and they maintain their own little free library of zines, which are, they are all really great. The first zine that I want to highlight is called How the Government is Turning Protesters into Felons by Natasha Leonard, who is an activist who had been imprisoned for felony charges for being at a protest. And that was pretty much it. Um, it talks a lot about protests opposing the Dakota Access Pipeline and the Trump inauguration. Um, and I have a quote from this just because I feel like it sums it up really well. A possible 10 years in prison would be an extreme punishment for breaking windows, but most J-20 defendants broke nothing at all. So I really highly recommend that on uh, getting a little more insight as to how police actually demonize protesters and how our justice system has, um, has failed them. The next one I want to highlight is No Prisoner Left Behind, The Fight for Transgender Slash Gender Variant Prisoners. And this one talks about the importance of gender rights for people who are imprisoned. It talks about what steps need to be taken to support them and some of the experiences that they go through in prison, not the least of which being healthcare, but also demonization and issues of safety. So it's really important, especially because transgender people are more likely to be intimidated by police and arrested. So this is a really important one to one to know about. The next distro is called Sprout Distro, and it is a very conveniently organized uh, <laughs> zine distro, probably one of the better organized ones that I have on this list, and it has them organized into imposed and screen-ready PDFs so that you can download them to print or just download them to read um, very easily. The first thing that I want to show off from Sprout is Confidence, Courage, Connection, Trust. And it talks about security culture and how we should center our ideas of protection and security and how to ourselves feel protected and safe around ways that don't demonize other people or make us suspicious of other people, but in ways that really build our courage and confidence in knowing that we are able to protect ourselves and knowing our rights and our connection with other pe other people, building, being able to build connections with other people that we trust and being able to recognize what exactly it is that we don't trust about another person or what we might need to be able to trust that other person. And I think that's really important, especially in social justice and activist spheres, because, you know, the fear is understandable, the fear of other people when you don't know... Um, you don't know if they're protesters or counter-protesters, that kind of thing. The next one that I have to show off is called Social Detox. And this one is really cool. It is a beautiful collage zine that talks about breaking down toxic masculinity. And it's sort of aimed towards uh, informing men or people with gender privilege to be aware of the sort of privileges that they hold and how to challenge their sexist ideas or oppressive ideas and create a masculinity that is not toxic. And it's really pretty, so I absolutely had to include this one. I also have one more from Sprout, and it's pretty self-explanatory, but I just wanted to share it anyway. It's titled, How to Start a Prison Books Collective, 
by the Prison Books Collective, which is basically just about how to start a program to help share books or zines with prisoners. The next distro is called Broken Beautiful Downloads. I guess this isn't exactly a distro, it's more like a little list of a collection of about 17, I think, radical zines. Um, but they're all very excellent, and so I wanted to share this anyway. They are all about reclaiming power and critiquing harmful systems and giving us direction for change. So I, I really like this collection. If you're a little overwhelmed with just the sheer volume of some of these other ones, then this might be a nice place for you to start. The zine that I want to highlight from this uh, resource is called Black Leaders Misleading the Black Community by Jade Miller. Um, and this is, this is a very interesting zine. It's a selection of critiques of um, black politicians and con conservative black politicians specifically. And it basically just talks about and, and focuses on what effective leadership and support for black people by black leaders would actually look like and how it shouldn't be about trying to conform to whiteness or trying to maintain the uh, structures that white politicians have created, but it's really about, you know, leadership that really supports black people. So this is a really interesting zine. The last resource that I have to share is a huge one. Um, I'm probably going to be bringing this one up multiple times, but I specifically wanted to highlight it here uh, because they have a special collection that they put together called Black Lives Matter Policing and Protest Guides which is basically a collection of their other zines. So this resource is the Sherwood Forest Zine Library, which has thousands and thousands of zines that you can download and read for free online anytime. And this particular guide is a, a curated collection from their, their main zine collection that are specifically zines about Black Lives Matter policing and protest. <laughs> Right now, that list alone is 150 zines, and every one of them is really great, and it is being continuously updated. The first one that I want to highlight from this is, Why Do We the People Riot? And I felt like this was important because it was a really approachable introduction to what a riot actually is and where it comes from, and sort of debunking the myths that riots are just about senseless violence. Um, and I think that's something that isn't talked about very much and it's really important to know. And when people will say something like the first pride was a riot, there's a reason for it and there's a reason that it's important. And it talks about, you know, why it is that riots happen. Um, and I think it's really important because it clears up a lot of misconceptions about the differences between a riot and protest and it really talks about how riots are actively used to create change. And another <laughs> another one from this that I really love, it's called Summertime Pampering in the City and that's by Sharon Maynard. And this is a zine that's sort of half personal observations and personal experience by the author on black culture around pampering and self-care. Um, and half about self-care ideas for black women. Um, mostly focused on bodily self-care, I think, you know, self-confidence and spa treatments and a few things like that. Um, but it's really nice, and I thought that'd be sort of a, a more hopeful, I guess, upbeat one to share, because admittedly, reading a lot of these can be kind of intense at times. I think it's all really valuable, but it's a necessary reminder to take a break. There are a few zines in these distros that are about avoiding burnout and those are really important. Maybe I'll link a couple below if I can think of any in particular, but you can definitely find them in these resources. Maybe they'll encourage you to check them out. All right, so that's the first episode of Free Zine Friday. I don't know if I'll do this every Friday exactly, um, but I do think that it's something that I want to keep going because there are so many free zine resources that you can read out there. If you have your own zine or if you know of any resources, then please feel free to email me. My email's in the description or leave a comment or anything like that, anything like that, just so that we can share the zine love. 
I want to really uh, thank you for watching this particular one because social justice and activism is something that I care a lot about and so I really hope that this helps to make it more accessible. There are resources for um, beginners, there are resources on theory, there are re DIY resources on actually being at protests, how to make things, how to keep yourself safe. I think that whatever level you're at of um, critiquing harmful systems or, you know, actively out there and fighting against harmful systems in any way that works for you, I think that you'll be able to find something really useful and really beneficial from one of these resources. Thanks so much, and I'll see you on some future Friday for episode two. Bye.